So this season, really, the theme is going to be casual luxury, room by room. So I'm going back to my roots. You remember Mary Alice? Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. So beautiful, and she has a great place that she wants you to help her with. So what am I in for when I walk in? A little bit of it has been updated, but not necessarily the way I would do it. I think we really have to bring this down to the stud and uh, rework it. Hello, kitchen. Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm Mar Jennings, and I created six casual luxury design principles for renovating or designing any space in your home. My casual luxury designs are the answer to any design dilemma, and I'll show you how. Welcome back everyone to season four of Life on Mars, the home makeover show. Welcome to Winslow Park. Isn't this beautiful? So great here. You have to love it. You can have your dogs off leash, on leash, and it's right here in the village of Westport. Well, you know, you can tell the change of season. So you know what that means? A new season for the show. Oh boy. Right? Here so we go. Season four, right? Can you imagine? Amazing. I can hardly believe it. We've come a long I way. I know we have a crazy season coming up. Yep. So I'm um, interested to hear. I can't believe we're like, it, we're starting season Four. We've done 40 episodes already, and we've gone from like starting in one house to like an entire castle. We've done whole neighborhoods. And I have to say also, this is the only show in this part of the country, we happen to be based in Connecticut, that is filmed and produced and everything is done entirely with local people in this part of the country. So uh, we're gonna start you with a traditional renovation and, and restoration and whole uh, decorating project for you that you're gonna love. Inside, outside, upstairs, downstairs. Uh, it's perfect for you. But then we're gonna change things up a little bit. So this season, really the theme is gonna be casual luxury, room by room. So I'm going back to my room. Absolutely, it's gonna be amazing. And so now we're gonna have you take advantage of some specific places that don't need a complete makeover, but certain rooms need your help. And that's really what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get out. Get in, get out, and do a wow. And I love the fact that we're really going to underscore the overall design of the casual luxury principles. I find that when we're renovating, that's an easy way to underscore and really validate the principles. But how wonderful is it when we also show people that aren't necessarily renovating, right. that they too can create a casual luxury environment. We are thrilled this season's going to be exciting, new, fun, and we'll also just show off some of the best things that we love casual luxury and the people that we love with casual luxury. And, you know, just to, to keep you focused all the time, um, we're going to make sure that we give you lots of time to do all the stuff you love to do, the riding and the tennis and Great. everything. So skating. But that really recharges me. And yeah, yeah. I always say that sports are, it's really good for your endorphins and being creative yeah. to do these things that They're take me for outside sure. yeah. of the realm of design. Yeah. And then it just charges me up and it makes me really come back so much stronger. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So are you ready to get started? I can't wait to show you your first project. Oh boy, okay, let's do it. <laughs> You remember Mary Alice? Yes, of course. So beautiful, and she has a great place that she wants you to help her with. I'm Mary Alice Graham. I was originally a Texas girl, but I just keep moving north. And then I decided to move all the way over to the East Coast when I relocated back to the United States. And I wanted to be closer to my daughter who lives in New York City. So I landed in Westport. And when I got here, I realized I needed a good designer to help me make my vision come true for my home. And I'm so grateful that I found Mar. All right, well, today is a good day to look at a new condo. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. All right, so uh, it's nice because they're kind of close, but you feel like you have everything you possibly need here, right? Yeah, it's a nice kind of a neighborhood feel. So what am I in for when I walk in? Well, a little bit of it has been updated, but not necessarily the way I would do it. Okay. Um, 
It was built in 1980, so... Oh, yeah, the 80s got, are back. We've got some great cabinets and tile. and. <laughs> I've definitely spent lots of time in apartments and condos, and it's a different kind of living and different kind of renovation, different kind of decorating that you do versus when you are in a house. So uh, you know that too. A lot more rural. I think I've moved a global traveler. 18 times I've moved houses, and a lot of those times have been in like an apartment or a condo. 18 times? It's a lot. That probably is not the right number, but it sounds Wow. Cool. And so, uh, no wonder you're so old. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so welcome. I'm digging the faux bamboo. Oh, don't you love it? <laughs> the doorknob's locked. Mar, the doorknob's locked. It seems I'm always being locked out of places. <laughs> we're locked. Is the back uh, slider? I have no idea. So we're going to have to get around that very quickly because Mary Alice does not have a lot of time. She's going to pass the baton to me and then I'll need to take over right away. The moment we get inside, that is. 1980, here we are. All right. <laughs> I think we really have to bring this down to the stud. Is there anything you want to keep in here? No. <laughs> Take a moment, think about it. No. 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 Okay. Life on Mars, the home makeover show, is now streaming on Amazon Prime. Variety is the spice of life and design. So I wanted to experience a little bit of everything across Connecticut, from cottages to grand estates from fixer-uppers to the almost falling downers, from indoors to outdoors, and from simple staging to complete overhauls. Wherever there's a design dilemma, I'm ready to turn it around. Now streaming on Amazon Prime. Okay. Yeah, so welcome. I'm digging the faux bamboo. Oh, don't you love it? <laughs> <laughs> the doorknob's locked. Mar, the doorknob's locked. Uh, let's let's go around the back and see if we can get into the slider. Uh, can we go I think we have to go this okay. way. So I met Mary Alice first, so this was kind of an unusual situation because when I first met her, we were just talking about living in Connecticut and she was renting a house actually right behind my home, Rosebrook Gardens. It turned out that she wanted to actually do a renovation and to buy something. I was more than happy to help. So Paul was kind of out of the loop. Normally everything goes through Paul. This time I actually brought Paul a client. You know, we get the, the you more than me get the luxury of getting to know these these clients really well. And like, but Mary Alice is something different, right? She's she's something different, all right. She's <laughs> she's so lovely. And it's just been a pleasure like assisting as you make all this happen. It's great. I'm no MacGyver. No. <laughs> You're not a good criminal. <laughs> so, I'm like one stop away. I'm gonna need you to take a cab or an Uber here because Mar and I, I we locked ourselves out. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. You've got the keys, right? Wow. Well, no. No? No. I think might be, well wait, it's not. Oh, I do, I do. Oh, good. Oh. Okay. Oh, that scared me too. When all else fails and you do not have access to your home, call the children. Mary Alice's daughter was not far away, and thanks to the help of a good cab in the area, she was able to come back quickly with the key. Okay, here we are. Yay! We're in. We're in. <sighs> okay, great. So you walk through, and the first thing you notice is that there is a very odd hallway, kitchens to the left, big wall there, closet, bathroom that jets out, staircase, and then you flow into a dining area, living room space. Oh, and the dance mirrors. Yes, this is our dance studio. Very off balance when it comes to design. So as we look at the space and start looking at what the options are, we don't want to make decisions very quickly. We just want to let it sit. It's a good space. Yes. It's a good space. You have a fireplace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we can really and see the, the patio. Mm -hmm. So there's the kitchen yes. and totally enclosed. Yeah. Yeah. So I think to be able to open that up. Take it down. If we can get that sight line, I think that'll make the room look bigger as well. So 
Shall we head into the kitchen? Yeah. 1980, here we are. All right. <laughs> Original 1980 cabinets. Okay, so uh, I think we really have to bring this down to the stud and uh, rework it. Is there anything you want to keep in here? No. <laughs> Take a moment. Think about it. No. 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 Okay. As you go up the stairs, there's a awkward balcony looking down into the dining area, which makes absolutely zero sense. We take all this dead space. I love that idea. Good size guest room. Yes. Uh, and it doesn't have an ensuite, but there is another bathroom here. We should definitely make the guest room an ensuite, so there's no reason to have a bathroom door and a hallway. There's a lot of doors here. I know, a lot of doors and a lot of weird bamboo stuff on the glass. Wow. And then when you go to the primary bedroom, certainly that room needs a proper ensuite. Completely redone. Ooh, you got a bathroom, it's not horrible. No, Looks like it's been updated. Update. Yeah. Now that's where Mary Alice is gonna give me a very big challenge. But if we are all working to the same degree of professionalism and end result, I think I will get her there with a little bit of a compromise. Only time will tell. What a waste of space. Stay a while. Mm -hmm. Stay that's a while. The, that's the name of the condo. Um, really is going to be one of those spaces that's very personal for you, but also a place that you can call home yeah. and where people will want to stay a while. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And some people may be so. longer than others. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I'm open. It's good. <laughs> All right. So let's get on it, shall All we? All right. Thanks. All right. So here's our punch list. We're going to gut the entire first floor. We're going to reappoint it, redesign it. We're going to create two ensuite bedrooms. That's going to be a very important part of the renovation. We're going to add a Zoom room slash little office area and where once used to be the washer and dryer. We're going to pick up some floor space, create a laundry room, brand new, and a linen closet. And we're going to finish off with some landscaping and creating a fantastic patio terrace area. All this in a very short period of time. Demo day, is important day, is when we finally get in there and start the process of seeing the vision. I think I'm losing my um, footprint, to say the least. Okay, this is how crazy we are. We're filming here, and we are going to do a dance class because this is so 1980s mirror. So when you walk into that space and you can't help but notice that there's that giant wall mirror, and uh, what kind of plans do you have for that? You're gonna try to reuse that in the space? Oh yes, I am donating that to Mr. and Mrs. Dump. Oh, I don't know who that is. Dumpster Dump. Jeez. It is being trashed. First of all, it is glued to the wall. So removing it, it's not gonna come in one piece. And so I thought that, you know, let's enjoy it for the moment, but definitely that 1980s large mirror reflection in a room is going, and it's going fast. So I hear that there was like a little dance class that Mary Alice put on. A little. So. You missed a very difficult afternoon because Mary Alice really just took this little tiny, let's go to the condo and show you what I could do because I'm a dancer to like, this is a real class. We're going to sweat. We're going to move. I, I, I don't. I don't follow other people's steps very well. And she had all these moves and a lot of hip and stuff going on. And, and I, I was ready to like just walk out, but I Sam. couldn't walk out. So what I like to get is basically me trying to open this wall as much as possible.
So let me just break this down for you. We are going to try to save as much as we possibly can when it comes to the cabinetry in the kitchen. Uh, we'd like to donate that. We're giving Mary Alice an open concept kitchen, which will really change the flow of this condo. It will allow you to really feel like you're a part of the kitchen, as opposed to this dated concept of having it be very tucked away. And the challenge is going to be to get all this out of here, follow the rules and regulation of the condo association, which is very important. So the punch list is pretty extensive on what we're doing on the first floor here. But I think in the end, when Mary Alice comes back and she sees what we have done here, she's gonna be pretty happy with it. Demo day is an important day is when we finally get in there and start the process of seeing the vision. Sometimes I might not be dressed in the right attire to literally start taking down some walls. I love that you say that you were dressed appropriately to take down walls because that has never stopped you before. I think I'm losing my uh, footprint to say the least. Oh. Because what used to go down with one big kick, now it takes a couple more good kicks. I'm sure it's just that they're building things stronger now. You think? Yeah, that's why. Hello, kitchen. Great design is truly useless if you don't have people to share it with. It's really a snapshot of your heart and your soul, the spaces we live in. So creating a space that represents both Mary Alice and my casual luxury design philosophy merged as one, that is truly what it's all about. Okay, my job is done. We have made tremendous progress here at Stay A While. Now, Mary Alice is also coming today to do her walkthrough. We're going through, I got nothing. I hope I didn't push this too much. So you you know what to expect. It is disastrous in here. And for anyone else that is not familiar with construction and transformations, you would look at this and you would totally <laughs> freak out. But truth be told, this is amazing progress because visually I can already see how this is coming together. Don't be too judgmental because the end result will be incredible. So these LVLs are going to now be supporting the wall that we are taking down. This is a temporary wall. This is a temporary wall as well. This is all going to open up and this LVL will basically bear the weight of the second floor, but it will be recessed into the ceiling. So the sight line is completely open now. So you will come in if you recall, we had this bump out here where the bathroom was. Now we'll have a clean sight line here and a great brand new kitchen right over here. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. All right, so I'm in the second bathroom and right now the only access into this bathroom is from the corridor here in the hallway. What I insisted was that to really bring some great value to this condo and to also make it more comfortable for guests is let's 86 the door from the hallway. Let's close this wall up, okay? And let's flip things around. Let's put the shower on this side and put the door right into the bedroom, making it its own ensuite and I think that's just a better way of redirecting how this bathroom is going to be designed. And it's really easy because, as you notice, I'm in the shower right now. The shower is just going to flip right to this side, 
And basically, once that happens, we still have a sink on this side. We have the shower on that side. It's just a better flow right from the bedroom. So that I'm really looking forward to doing. We have made tremendous progress here at Stay A While, and I am walking through now to see the cabinets as they're being installed. Now, Mary Alice is also coming today to do her walkthrough, but that's it. We're gonna give her a sneak peek, and then we're going to send her off so we can complete this, and she can be completely surprised. Let's take a look. So, we're back, and this is our check-in with Mary Alice. This is her opportunity to see the progress and to understand what the timeline is and how important it is. And of course, Mary Alice is a former actress. She's done plays, so she really knows how to put out a feeling. And so I'm thinking, I'm pretty receptive. I'm gonna pick up on her feelings pretty quickly. But yet, we're going through I got nothing, nothing, not a little ha 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 ha, not nothing. I hope I didn't push this too much. <laughs> 